Hello guys and welcome to this very random short episode of Speed to Garage. Today I'm going to be working on my 2012 Dodge Challenger. We have some rims, uh, drag rims we're going to be mounting on it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so today we have these uh, race star rims. They are 17 inches as well as the tires. The dimensions for the rims and the tires are 305, 45, 17s. These are Mickey Thompson ET Street SS. As you can see right here, I ordered these uh, specific lug nuts for the uh, these rims since the uh, lugs do not really extend out that much. Therefore, we need to install this, which comes into the rim and uh, secures the tire perfectly and the rim to the hub assembly. I've taken the initiative of lifting the car up with my two-ton jack. I have a tire right under there just in case anything happens. And I uh, went ahead and removed my Akata spacer. And now I'm going to go ahead and install those rims. Alright guys, when installing these tires, please take every single precautionary method. What I did and already said in the video is putting that jack stand up and uh, we have a lot, another tire down there. So we're going to be very careful not to drop the vehicle. These tires are side specific. So please look for the uh, threaded groove pattern and it's going to tell you rotation to the certain way you want to mount the tire to the car. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, the best way to actually mount this tire onto the vehicle is to actually lift it up with your legs and get it right and centered with the uh, hub of the vehicle. Once we have these tires perfectly centered on the vehicle, as you can see we have these uh, wheel washers which uh, indicate which is the wheel side. So we're going to install that wheel side towards the wheel always. Here we have the uh, stud and these actually go inside of the uh, rim and you have to tighten them up in a starn pattern. All right guys, with a little magic of editing, we have these uh, rims set up on the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up real good. Um, I'm gonna tighten them up in a star pattern, and then after I bring the car down, I'm gonna tighten them up again, uh, so that we don't have any loose bolts. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab my breaker bar and I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the rims a little bit more. I know I'm supposed to have a little torque spec on this, but uh, I don't have a torque wrench right now. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten them. Not too much, but just uh, snug enough.
All right guys, to complete this install, we have this uh, cap which goes right here in the center of the rim and uh, it brings all these uh, nuts and washers. We're gonna go ahead and install that and uh, go ahead and make ourselves over to the next side. All right guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring the car down and I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more and we're done. All right guys, unfortunately that is it for today. We had the uh, rims installed and everything, but I don't have enough battery for a test drive. So I will post that later on. Hopefully this new rims gives us a better time at the track. Since I was always burning tires all, all the way to second gear, so. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Speed to Garage. Uh, next episode I will have the test drive ready of this vehicle with the new tires on it and uh, as well as some bad news. So keep posting.